Good morning everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I thought I would talk about what I bring with me when I go camping. So I've just laid out everything in front of me here and I'm just going to run through each item one by one. So first I should probably talk about the tent which is behind me here. This is the MSR Hubba Hubba and it's the only two person tent that I've been in that can actually sleep two people comfortably including our bags. A couple of things that I really like about this tent is it has two doorways. So it allows ventilation to get through the tent, but it also allows you to get out of the tent without disturbing each other during the night. It also means that you've got two porches that you can cook in or leave your stuff in at night. And the other thing I really like is that I can sit upright in this and I've still got plenty of room above my head. Now the bottom of this tent is quite thin. It felt like, you know, any kind of stones on the floor or sticks could easily pierce through it. So we decided to buy the footprint which came separately. And with that, it feels pretty safe on most terrain that we've camped on so far. So we've had this tent for quite a while now and I really like it. It's really quick to put up, easy to put up. Done. <laughs> Just in time. And it fits both of us in it comfortably. So I definitely recommend this tent. It's a little bit expensive, but it was a worthwhile investment for us rather than buying something a bit cheaper that wasn't gonna last as long. So the next thing I'm gonna talk about is my bag. This is a recent addition and it's the Fjall Raven Keb 52 litre. I originally had a much bigger bag for camping. I think it was about 70 litres. And that felt like a bit too much for these shorter camping trips that we do. So I decided to get a 52 litre, which is a much better size for these shorter camping trips. So like I said, I've not had this that long, so I'm still getting used to it. But a couple of things that I really like so far are the side pockets that can fit a full Nalgene bottle in it. It also has a really good pocket at the top that can fit loads of stuff in it. And it has zips at the bottom so that you can easily access stuff in the bottom here, as well as a zip pocket down the side. So again, you can reach stuff that's inside the bag from the side. Another thing that's really good is all of these straps on the side means that you can customize it to different sizes. So you can do these straps up and it makes the bag smaller and then obviously you can expand it to fit a lot more stuff in it. So that's really good as well. And plus, all Fjall Raven stuff is really high quality and it's made to last. So I think this is going to be a really good addition to my camping setup. Okay, moving on to my sleeping bag. So I have two sleeping bags that I use. The one that I use the most is my RAB three season bag, which has a comfort rating down to minus one. And that pretty much does me for most of the year here in the UK. And then I also have a really cheap bag that I think cost me about 30 pounds uh, about 10 years ago. And that has a comfort rating of eight. And I'll use that when the nights are gonna be hotter and I don't want a really thick sleeping bag. For my sleeping bags, I've always gone with synthetic insulation. It's mainly because in the UK, it rains a lot. So it's good to have a bag that even if it gets wet, it will still keep me warm. So I keep my sleeping bag inside this Sea to Summit stuff sack, and that enables me to squash it down really small, really compact, and fix it into the bottom of my bag. And then to go with my sleeping bag, I got this micro fleece travel liner. This was quite cheap, I think it was about 20 pounds or something. And it basically is a fleece liner that goes inside my sleeping bag. And the reason for using this is it gives you an extra layer of warmth, but it also stops your bag from getting sweaty or dirty or anything when you're sleeping inside it. So it'll make my sleeping bag last longer as well. Next, I've got my sleeping mat. And this is the Thermarest ProLite self-inflating mat. The sleeping mat basically has two purposes. The first is to keep you warm by raising you up off the ground. And the second one is to have a far more comfortable night's sleep because laying on this is a lot more comfortable than lying on the hard ground. So all I have to do is undo the nozzle, 
roll it out and over about an hour, it will slowly self inflate. And then I'll usually need to top it up a little bit with some breath at the end to make sure that it's firm enough. And then the last thing in my sleep system is my Aeros pillow. And this is by Sea to Summit. I just blow it up here. And then I sleep on that at night. And I actually find this more comfortable than my pillow at home. So now I will move on to the spare clothes that I brought with me. This is just a dry bag and I use this to keep all of my spare clothes in. The first thing that I've got in here is my base layers. I've got these Heli Hansen thermal trousers and the matching base layer top. A spare pair of socks. These are darn tough wool socks. They don't ever smell and they also have a lifetime guarantee. So if you ever have a problem with them, you can just send them back and they will send you new ones. And the final thing I have in here is just a buff. So if it's cold at night, I'll just wear this over my neck. I can pull it up over my nose as well. And that keeps me really warm when it's cold at night. So those are my spare clothes that I keep in this dry bag. And then once they're in this dry bag, I can compress them down really small, push all the air out. And then when I do it up, that will now just mold into whatever shape I want to fit into my bag. Another thing that I always bring with me is my Patagonia Nano Puff. So this is a really warm synthetic insulated layer. And as you can see, it packs down into this really small compact pouch. Once you open it up, it turns into this really warm insulated layer. And like I said, it's synthetic. So if this gets wet, it's not gonna matter. It's still gonna keep me warm. Another thing which I don't have with me is my waterproof jacket. And I would usually always bring a waterproof jacket with me as well, but we're only out for the weekend and there was a 0% chance of rain today. Moving on to my cooking stuff. I've got my titanium cook pot here. And this is the Tokes titanium 900 milliliter cook pot. And I got this size because it fits the camping gas really well inside that. So I'll always store that in there. I used to have an aluminium cook pot, but I recently switched over to titanium, which is much lighter and it heats up a lot quicker as well. And then my stove is this tiny MSR pocket rocket. It just folds out. And then you screw that onto the top of the gas and then you cook on top of it. And as you can see, it's really small, it's really light, and it does exactly what we need. And then to light that, I've just got a ferro rod, which I've started using instead of matches. I'll try and always use this to light it if I can, but if not, Amy always has a set of matches in the bottom of her bag. So that is all of our cooking stuff. And then down here, I've just got water purification stuff. So I've got the Soya Mini filter and the CNOC bag. So the way this works is you fill the bag with water and then you attach the filter to the bottom of the bag. And then you just squeeze it out into your water bottle and that will filter it for you. I used to have the bag that came with the Soya filter and I found that it leaks quite a bit and it doesn't hold very much water. But with this bag, it opens up at the top. So you can fill up the bag from a stream and it's far quicker than trying to just fill it up with the nozzle at the end here. And then once you've filled it up, you just fold it down and slide this over the top and that's never gonna leak. Next up, I've got this light by a company called BioLight and it's solar powered, so we never have to charge this up. We just use this hanger and hook that up at the top of our tent. And as you can see, it's flashing at the moment because it's charging from the sunlight around me. So last couple of things, I've got my Nalgene water bottle, which holds a liter of water. I've got my mug, my titanium spork, and this foldable, bowl and plate combo. And then the last thing 
in my bag is my pen knife. Uh, I got this quite recently and I pretty much only use it for chopping up food, um, but I thought it'd be really useful to have it. It's by a UK company called Whitby Knives and I've been really impressed with it so far. Uh, the blade is nice and sharp, the wooden handle looks really nice and it folds down really small. So I'll keep that in my camping bag as well. So that's everything that I currently have with me in my camping bag. This obviously varies depending on where I'm going, how long I'm going for and what the weather's gonna be like. But this is pretty much the stuff that will come with me on every trip and then I'll just add more stuff to it. And one thing that is missing from this bag uh, is the first aid kit. And that's just because Amy will carry that in her bag. So hopefully this video is useful in just showing you a few things that I bring with me and maybe you can pick and choose things that you might wanna bring on your next trip. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below and I'll do my best to try and answer them. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.